Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We ask that all during the ongoing pandemic continue to use hand sanitizers and to maintain a distance of two meters. The wearing of masks is strongly encouraged. Our gathering chant this morning can be found in your Catholic Book of Worship, number 310, O Come Divine Messiah. And our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch. Please stand. <clears throat> o Come Divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day When hope shall sing its triumph And sadness flee away Sweet Saviour, haste Come, come to earth Dispel the night and show thy face And bid us hail the dawn of grace Divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee. Away. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit uh, be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. As we continue on our journey of Advent, come closer to the Christmas season, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts today and to heal us and strengthen us and to heal all of our sickness, all of our ills, to be with us and to prepare our hearts for Christmas. We ask the Lord to forgive us all of our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout aloud, O daughter Zion. Shout, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away the judgments against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst you shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. 
Do not let your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing as on a day of festival. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, let your love be upon us, Lord, even as we hope in you. Let us love be upon us, Lord, even as we hope in you. Let your love be upon us, Lord, even as we hope in you. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Praise the Lord with the to him with the harp of ten strings. Let your love be upon us, Lord, even as we hope in you. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his words is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. Let your love be upon us, Lord, even as we hope in you. on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Let your love be upon us, Lord. Even as we hope in you.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard of Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. After Mary responded to the message of the angel Gabriel with the words, let what you have said be done to me, Luke tells us that Mary set out in haste, with haste, quickly as she went could to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Even though she had received wonderful news regarding herself, her first thoughts were not for herself, but for her older cousin. Her faith showed itself in love, a journey of love to someone who was in greater need than herself. During Christmas, we visit people, our loved ones and friends, and they come to visit us. This morning's gospel reading talks about this visitation of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth. The meeting of these two women, these two great women of faith, is also a meeting of two children, Jesus and John the Baptist, who are being carried in the wombs of the two two women. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, we are told that the child leaped for joy in Elizabeth's womb. Even before he was born, John rejoiced at the coming of Jesus. Elizabeth, in turn, recognized the child that Mary was carrying by declaring, Blessed is the fruit of your womb, and by addressing her as the mother of my Lord. Both Elizabeth and her unborn son recognized that the visit of Mary was at the same time a visit from the Lord. The Lord was coming to them through Mary. The Lord came to all of us through Mary. Mary, in turn, exemplifies our own calling to bring the Lord Jesus to each other. We will be giving gifts to each other this Christmas, but the real gift we can give to each other is the gift of the Lord, the gift of his loving presence. Our prayers of intercession today. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Peter Archbishop, and all those who lead and guide our church, we pray for courage and wisdom for them. We pray to the Lord. For our Archdiocese, as we continue the process of restructuring and renewal, we pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, especially in the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick recommended to our prayers. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, especially for members of the Dominic family, members of the McWillie family, Joe Brown and Catherine Goff. For these and all those who have died in the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. We pray for your own intentions at this Mass today. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer all the prayers we have in our hearts today, for we make them in the name of Jesus, your risen Savior, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, my God. 
God of all creation, but through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become spiritual drink. Wash away our iniquity, O Lord, cleanse us of our sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray, be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church. For in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. So with all the angels and saints we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. And for as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostle St. John the Baptist and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. <coughs> our Father, our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, and thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this, this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share the peace of Christ now with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> spiritual communion for those viewing online and for those who cannot receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you for you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that you begin from the side sections, maintain a two meter distance in the communion line and sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. Thank you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Our communion hymn can be found in your celebrated song, 6.4, Let Us Be Bread. Let us be 
be bread, blessed by the Lord, broken and shed, life for the world. Let us be wine, love freely poured. Let us be one in the be bread, blessed by the Lord, broken and shed, life for the world. Let us be wine, love freely poured, let us be one in the now and hunger no more. Let us be bread, blessed by the Lord, broken and shed, life for the world. Let us be wine, love freely let us be one in the Lord. You are my friends if you keep my commands. No longer servants but friends. Let us be brave. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept us, and then may the participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people, so that being subject to your glorious majesty and dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body through Christ our Lord. Before the final blessing, I'd like to welcome Chris Quigley, our seminarian back with us for Christmas. God bless you, Chris, and we continue to pray for you on your journey. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. You too, Father. Our missioning hymn can be found in your Catholic Book of Worship, 303, Awake and Greet the New Morn. Away.
Wake, awake, and greet the new morn, for angels herald its dawning. Sing out your joy, for soon he is born. Behold the child of our longing. Come as a baby, weak and poor, to bring all hearts together. He opens wide the heavenly door and lives now inside us forever.